I see yeah, entry fees, this possible source of income for the project, uh, for once it's all up and running, um, we said it was uh, £6 for a child, £8 for an adult, and we could do some sort of family ticket to bring the money down a bit more. Uh, the gift shop, the restaurant the bar, there is already planning permission there to have uh, a bar or wedding facilities, so that is something that we can look into for another stream of revenue for the project. Build a nice conference room for uh, them to have their receptions afterwards or something like that. And we could, again, lottery funded. Uh, we can ask for up to £500,000 for the lottery if we are accepted for that. Staffing wise, because we've got the university right on the road, why not open it up to the university? Everyone at uni, they go to uni, do their course, they need a job whilst they're there. So open it up to university jobs. Um, we could open a volunteer section, and again, to create more funding, if we link it to the Duke of Mentors Award, then we can get more funding that way. Um, because as a recognised volunteer or residential unit, then they're quite likely to sponsor you to help you out as well. And again, just opening it up to the general public and general employees. Attendance, we're looking to open up to mainly education, as it is a science centre, we want schools there, we want university trips there, um, general public, and possibly foreign student exchange regions. Um, I know down in the there's we have the Kent Hall of English, which are quite keen at doing educational visits. Um, and there are obviously local ones in Chatham as well, which we could get some sort of links, some sort, some sort of partnership going with them too. Marketing. Uh, we're going to be advertising in the schools. We could do visits to the schools to uh, help them out too. Um, again, in the university, get them over to us. The jobs, word of mouth is going to be one of the main marketing things within the university. <coughs> again, displays that we're not using, instead of storing them, either rent them or donate them to an educational centre and then we're getting extra marketing and extra PR from them or we could be getting an extra source of income. And we could have open days and outreach programs. So, in conclusion, uh, is it feasible? I absolutely believe yes, it is feasible. It, it is possible for the space that we have to fit what the client wants and to be able to uh, financially get something back out of it and keep itself going by injecting that revenue back into the system. I believe it is definitely feasible. And yes, it is economically viable. So, thank you very much.